What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. As usual, go get it. Uh, PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. Uh, but this video is entitled R. Kelly and Amanda Seals. What I'm talking about is R. Kelly is a proxy to a degree. Because I'm going to use other black men. And Amanda Seal is a proxy to a degree. Because I'm going to use women or, and black women. Um, no matter what R. Kelly does, because of his past, he's going to be viewed in some aspects as guilty. You know, oh, he had an outburst. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're trying to ruin him, but he's supposed to be cool, calm, and collected. He's crying. You know, now, 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 I got to get to this. Amanda Seals, I think this is the second guy she got caught lying on. Because, if I'm not mistaken, the thing with Russell Simmons wind up being a lie. So, you could just go around lying on folks under this Me Too banner. No problem. And I remember there was a feminist out there who was like, she didn't care if men got thrown under the bus by a lie. She, they, they just wanted to get men. This is why I'm making this video. Because ultimately, men having sex with women has become a liability. And women lying on men has become a, a, a strategy uh, to, to get money or attention um, in a news cycle. Why do I say that? Before I got on this computer to do this video, there was an article that said Gail King now asks for, for a raise from CBS. Now, after all the years she's been worked, she just happened to do this R. Kelly video and now she need a raise. Well, what exactly are you getting a raise for? Doing your job? I mean, because you, you see, that makes somebody look like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You did an exclusive interview and now you need a raise. Okay. Seems like that's a little bit shaky. Amanda Seals threw a couple of people under the bus, but she could get a special. She can run around saying men this, men that. But nobody gets to question her integrity. You know, and it's the issue. Men can never have integrity. Women can always have integrity. R. Kelly's a bad reference for integrity, I know. But this this is this is odd to me. Same thing with, you know, um Michael Jackson and Oprah. Michael Jackson's dead. Michael these you know, Michael Jackson's new old accusers that said he didn't do nothing to him, because that's what they are. Or hang, uh, uh, got a docu on a documentary, and Oprah is interviewing them, throwing a dead man under the bus that they've already said that he didn't do nothing to them. And people talk about there is no agenda because all of these years gone by. How many people gonna get, gonna, are going to be able to lie? The last NFL draft, it was that. Matter of fact, they, they had the Sean Oakman thing a couple days ago. We did it on the brother pill. He got, it, that took away his NFL career. Not a big deal. The guy, uh, Conley, in Ohio State, accusation right before the draft, took away some of his, pay, his payday because girl cost him millions with a lie. Michigan State just got sued again. Um, it was a couple other colleges. You know, the, the, the college at um, Francois at Florida State. 
Girl just admitted she lied on him. Reuben Foster, girlfriend, went to the police, said I lied. I don't know why he got back with her. He got back with her, and she did the same exact thing to the point where they cut him, and he wound up in Washington with the Redskins, and then she gets on the TV and say, yeah, he really beat me. See, here's the problem. When you're dealing in a, in a society where basically you're guilty by accusation, and as black men we 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 we're accustomed to that, you know you know that's why our Kelly Kelly's the way. Like you got to think about this. There's going to be a fallout because we've said for for a long time that they're trying to make black men the face of the Me Too movement. But it seems like every time a white guy's case comes up. It's something with a black guy involved. See, all the numerous white white names are supposed to be going to trial right now. You're not hearing about none of them. None of them. It's it just another black dude. You know, if R. Kelly get out of jail in a couple of days, a week, from this child support thing, and 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 <laughs> that's a whole another story. He get married to a woman because I thought it was like I thought he had like extra kids. So he owes this money to his ex-wife who's, they got divorced. She's probably a millionaire because of him. Why she got him, you know what? One minute she's in social media talking about, you know, she don't like him. The next minute, you know, that, that's her baby daddy. Now he's in jail because of this. Under what he's going through and he's like he fighting to see his kids or have a relationship with him, which kind of alludes to the fact that She's in the middle of that because that's normally what happens. Could be wrong in that situation, but I'm just saying. But this goes to what I'm talking about with R. Kelly and Amanda Seals. The men are always guilty. The women are all... But how do these women keep getting caught up? You know, the game just... They about to seize his stuff because... He was messing with a girl on, on, on his reality show. And now it's sexual assault. Now, if, <laughs> but he never went. And here's, here's, here's what's weird. With R. Kelly, if he messes with underage girls, that's statutory rape. But they getting these guys with sexual assault to... To... to, to in, in essence, be able to have a civil suit on the back end. So just say what it is, you know. Now, the other thing I got to say, and then I'm going to get out of this, using R. Kelly as a proxy, the parents of uh, the parents and, and, the, and, and, the, and the employee, the employees and the parent, the employees of R. Kelly and the parents of all these all these women get to go scot free. The parents of all these women who get who, who are lying, their parenting isn't coming to questions. They're not, you know, if, if a woman get becomes a victim of, of of assault, she needs to be treated as a victim. But if a woman is is a is a liar and she lied about being a victim, she's not a monster. She's not evil. She's not wrong. Like I don't like how is Amanda Seal still looked at as as a as a, as anybody you could take seriously. I, I lied about that. Wait, 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 wait. You. <laughs> you lied about saying what this guy did, but you but you're honest about what happened with other people prior to that. Is that's what you're saying? Same thing, you go, I'll go back to the, to the thing with R. Kelly. Girl's like, look, this is what we signed up for. So that's R. Kelly's fault. Parents, you know, taking, telling their children to lie about their age to be with him. That, it, this is the, the whole concept, the whole issue that's involved in all of this stuff. See, it's okay to say a guy is a, is a sexual predator, a, 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 a monster, 
But it's not okay to say people exploit the fact that you can be seen in that hypersexual way and approach you with some diabolical intentions. That's okay though. As long as you can say, ah, he touched me. What about the part when he know but he got a bad reputation? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lie and say he did something he didn't do because I can get some money because he got a bad reputation. <gasps> this is why the judge threw the case out with these guys. That's what opened. See, you know, public opinion is trying is basically squat. They're using public opinion to squash the ju the judicial system and the law. You know, let, we're gonna make sure you're guilty by the time you get to court, so even the judge is influenced. But if you get caught lying, what if somebody get to sue you for that? Oh, I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. I mean, I lied on them to get money from them, but if I got caught, I ain't got no money. Whatever, man. But like, share, and subscribe. We out. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.